Hello guys, welcome to another video. In this video, we will discuss how you can immigrate to Estonia and obtain a residence permit as both an EU citizen, but also if you are a non-EU citizen. We will cover different types of residence permits for the purpose of work, business or studying in Estonia and we will also list the advantages and disadvantages of living in Estonia. This is probably one of the most important videos of this channel and before you get to the content, if you want to travel, move or invest abroad, you know what you have to do, hit the like button and subscribe. Let's start! Before we talk actually about the residence permits and how you can move to Estonia, let's do a quick overview about the country of Estonia. Estonia is a country in northeastern Europe and part of the Baltic states together with Lithuania and Latvia. The country is a full European Union member, a member of the Schengen area and currently uses the euro common currency. The economy of Estonia is pretty stable and the country has experienced huge economic growth since it got independent after the collapse of the Soviet Union in the 90s. Now let's get to the options if you want to move to Estonia, temporarily or permanently. Firstly, we're gonna talk about EU citizens that want to move to Estonia. If you are an EU citizen and you want to live in Estonia for more than 3 months, you need to register your stay. The process is pretty straightforward and you can do everything after you are already in Estonia. You will need to either own real estate, have a rental contract or the consent of a property owner in Estonia to live and register your address there. Once registered, you can go on and start your activities, wherever they might be. Work, study, retirement, non-economic activities, broadly with the same rights as Estonian citizens. So that's it for EU citizens. You can just come to Estonia and start your life. There is not much bureaucracy involved actually. But if you are a non-EU citizen, things are much more complicated. If you are a non-EU citizen, your options to live in Estonia are considerably reduced. However, there is still a number of options you can explore if you want to live in Estonia, even if you are not an EU citizen. One of the good things about Estonia is that if you are legally in the country on a visa, or if you can enter the country without a visa, like if you are a US citizen for example, you can apply for your residence permit directly in the Estonian police, while already in the country. In many cases, however, it will be more convenient to apply from abroad at an Estonian embassy due to the time and document constraints. The first residence permit we're going to talk about is for business in Estonia. In my opinion, the most attractive residence permit currently available in Estonia is the one for business owners and self-employed persons. The financial requirements are quite reasonable. Here they are. If you are a shareholder of a company, the capital invested must be of at least 65,000 euros to qualify. However, if you are a self-employed person, the capital investment requirement is of just 16,000 euros, which I consider pretty reasonable. You will also need a pretty solid business plan, as it will be reviewed by the authorities before you can start operating your venture in Estonia. The next option to live in Estonia is the new Digital Nomad Visa. Estonia, as a pioneer in many aspects of its government, has recently launched a new Digital Nomad Visa. This visa is ideal if you want to live in Estonia and work remotely for your own company or providing services for companies abroad. The main requirement when it comes to the new Digital Nomad Visa is showing evidence that you already have a steady income as a remote worker. The minimum income threshold you need to have to be eligible for this type of stay in Estonia is of 3,504 euros per month during the six months previous to your application. The downside of this type of visa is that it is issued for up to one year. You can apply through an Estonian embassy abroad or directly in Estonia if you are legally in the country. You can also combine the digital nomad visa and then if you really like the country, you can become an entrepreneur in Estonia and get the business residence permit as a self-employed person, for example. Now we're gonna talk a little bit about the Estonia e-residence, which made Estonia quite famous abroad, let's say. Estonia has made it to the news some years ago when it launched the e-residence program. Despite its name, the truth is that the e-residence program does not grant you the right to live in Estonia. Becoming an e-resident in Estonia will just allow you to access a number of digital services in the country. In my opinion, the Estonian e-residence program is just useful for a very few specific cases. If you live in a country with poor digital infrastructure and work remotely, and want your business to gain access to the European Union market, the e-residence program might be an option. It is popular among citizens of Ukraine, for example, or Turkey. 
If you are a citizen of a Western country, there are very little advantages in this program. By becoming an e-residence and opening a company in Estonia, you will have to pay taxes of your company activity in Estonia and the tax rate is not necessarily low. There are much better jurisdictions in my opinion if you don't want to live in Estonia and you want to open a company to operate it from abroad like digital services or some kind of trade company for example. There are other cases in which you can get a residence permit to live in Estonia. Among them, a residence permit if you work for an Estonian company, if you are married to an Estonian national or if you come to Estonia to study. Since public services in Estonia are quite efficient, if you need to process a residence permit in Estonia for one of these activities, if you want to study in Estonia or if a company in Estonia wants to hire you, you can expect a much faster visa and residence permit process. And currently in Estonia there is no type of residence permits for retirees. So if you want to retire and have a passive life in Estonia, for the time being there is not really an option. You would either have to be an EU citizen or try to somehow fit in some other category. If you want to get a permanent residence permit in Estonia, you have to live in Estonia for 5 years consecutively. Only then you'll be able to apply for a permanent residency. There are a few exceptions to that, which may reduce the amount of time you need to live in Estonia before you can apply for a permanent residency. One of the exceptions is, for example, if you have a PhD degree, you may be able to reduce the amount of time you need to live in Estonia before you can apply for a permanent residency. Now, if you made it all the way through a temporary residence and permanent residency, you, you can then think about getting Estonian citizenship. In order for you to be eligible for Estonian citizenship by naturalization, you will need to have lived at least for 8 years in the country. Out of those 8 years, 5 years you will need to be living in Estonia as a permanent resident. So Estonia is definitely not among the easiest countries to obtain citizenship through naturalization in the European Union. For most cases, Estonia does not allow dual citizenship. This has mostly to do with tensions with Russia and Estonia's past as a Soviet Republic and the local Russian ethnic population. Now we're going to cover the advantages and disadvantages of living in Estonia. Firstly, we're gonna check some of the main advantages of living in Estonia. One of the best advantages of living in Estonia is having an efficient government. This includes a low level of corruption, a number of services available digitally for its systems, an uncomplicated tax system and an overall pro-business atmosphere. Estonia ranks pretty high in the ease of doing business report yearly published by the World Bank. The second advantage is its good location in the Schengen area. Apart from being in the European Union, Estonia is also a member of the Schengen Treaty area. In other words, and in normal circumstances, if you hold a residence permit in Estonia, you can freely travel across all the countries of the Schengen area without having to show your passport in any border. Moreover, Estonia has good access to most countries of Northern Europe and direct flights to the most important capitals in Europe. Finally, you are just a short hop to St. Petersburg, Russia, which is definitely worth visiting and easy to access with a new Russian e-visa. The last advantage I'd like to point out about Estonia is the high prevalence of English speakers. Estonia is a great place if you speak English, if you are a native speaker of English or if you have English as your second language. While Estonian is the official language in the country, most residents in the country speak English to a very high standard. Moreover, you will find many job offers in Estonia which do not require you to speak Estonian, especially in IT related roles. Now let's do a quick analysis of the things I consider disadvantages about living in Estonia. One thing that might be considered as a disadvantage for some is the weather in Estonia. Estonia is in fact one of the coldest countries in Europe. Winters in Estonia are pretty long and dark, which may be an unpleasant disadvantage for some. If you like snow and sub-zero temperatures, Estonia is the place for you. Another potential disadvantage of Estonia is its language, which is pretty difficult. The Estonian language sounds pretty mysterious and is definitely an important part of the Estonian culture. Unlike most European languages such as English, German, Spanish or even Russian, the Estonian language is not an Indo-European one. That means its grammar is quite different than what most expats are used to deal with before coming to Estonia. Moreover, Estonian is only broadly spoken in Estonia. However, if you want to move permanently to the country, it is definitely worth learning it. And one consideration, if you are Finnish, 
you can just ignore everything I said about the Estonian language, it will be pretty easy for you. The final disadvantage I'd like to point out in Estonia is that the country offers a relatively low amount of residence permit options. As I have mentioned earlier, Estonia does not have a residence visa for retirees, for example. It also does not have an attractive visa for those willing to have a more passive lifestyle, like you can find in its southern neighbor Latvia, in which you can get a residence permit by investing directly in real estate. That's it for today's video. If you have some questions, write down in the comment section. If you like this video, I will really appreciate if you hit the like button and subscribe. And if you want to travel, move and invest abroad, you know what you have to do. Please hit the like button and subscribe. See you next time.